<laughs> and in honor of a uh, mother on stage, this is a piece I wrote about my mother, cleverly titled Mother When I told my mother that I wanted to be a veterinarian when I grew up, mom told me that vets kill puppies and kittens <laughs> and stick needles into horses and bunnies with cancer, which is true. When I told my mother that I wanted to be a zookeeper when I grew up, mom told me that animals in captivity are still wild animals and hence would attack even the friendliest caretakers, usually tearing them to shreds and then eating the remains. You see, my mom and I had a lot of time to talk about these things. I was the last of the Aptuits brood, always too young and too small to go on the nature hikes and backpacking trips that formed my brother and sister, the scientists. It was always just mom and me, a stack of books and NPR coming through the radio like the voice of God. Mom never liked my career choice as much, though I knew I was on the right track when one day over a bowl of alphabet soup, I asked her, hey, Mom, how come there are such things as bad words? And she said, honey, there is no such thing as a bad word. Only words that aren't appropriate for all situations. For instance, you should never use the word shit in front of a nun. <laughs> you see, she gave me that. She gave me the gift of words. She gave me the power of words, and I never considered it a privilege. But my mom grew up in a time when words were being redefined, words like gender, power, class, and revolution. She grew up in a house where a wrench spray-painted gold served as a shower dial, and a father overseas somehow to support a wife, and four kids left stateside, being my mom, her sister, and two sons who wouldn't even recognize their father when he returned home four years later eating meat once a week, recycling shoes to the next kid in line, and using your babysitting money to buy groceries. Even my mom knew the score. So though she was top of her class, editor of her school newspaper, editor of her school literary magazine, the National Merit Scholar, with a three newspaper a day habit, she still had to hear them tell her, honey, the scholarship's not going to be for English. If you want to go to college, at all, it's gonna have to be for science. So my mom, the biologist, met my father, the chemical engineer, and together they produced three beautiful kids, one of which she was gonna make sure wouldn't feel the burn she was forced to. One government paycheck and three kids under the age of five doesn't go very far, but mom always made sure we had books, even if we rolled pennies instead of dice or bought our gifts at our neighbor's garage sale. People always ask me why I make such a big deal of it, saying it's not Kristen Aftowitz, it's Kristen O'Keefe Aftowitz. It's just one word, they say. It shouldn't make that much difference, but I know the differences words can make. It is a gift my mother gave me, and I honor her. Every time I put pen to paper, every time I put word to lip, and every time I sign my name, because I know that in order for me to be who I am, to live how I live, to write how I write, it took Marine and O'Keefe, the visionary, the writer, to become Marine Aptowitz, the wife, the mother. My mom said that she'd never trade any of us kids in for a novel or a job at the New York Times, though the way we behave sometimes, she said she'd consider it. <laughs> but I know she's not joking because I have never seen her smile so bright or look so proud as when I finally told her what I wanted to be. And she said, you know what, honey? I think Kristen O'Keefe Aptowitz is a perfect name for a writer.